Uh, yeah, I mean, every every game's the same thing the last three weeks. It's just, uh, you know, we didn't come home with any points. So, yeah, it's every game's more important now. What about tomorrow's game then specifically? What do you try to do different going forward? Well, um, I mean, we had a rough weekend keeping the puck out of our net. I mean, we need our goaltenders to be better for sure and, and then start from there. Is it frustrating when you get that many shots and you can't get a win? Well, definitely, yeah. It's, you know, 49 shots. I mean, um, you'd like to see us score a few more goals on 49 shots as well. But, um, you know, I mean, I've always said it here and I've learned over the years now as a head coach is your, your best player um, has to be your goalie. And, to, you know, to give yourself uh, an opportunity to win, you know, the majority of the games. And uh, our goals had a rough weekend and we just have to rebound and, and go back at it tomorrow. Has it been a little hard cycling in so many new players while you're trying to make a playoff push, you know, get everything smoothed out? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, um, it's happened sort of every year. You get a couple college kids, a couple junior kids coming in and um, trying, you know, it's not try. They're, we're told we, they have to play, so um, they play. And uh, other guys don't play. And sometimes, you know, it disrupts the room a little bit at times. But I think the older guys understand in the room here that that, that happens and, with an organization uh, like we have and the way that we do things, we're always going to get that influx of young players. As far as getting new guys into the organization and, and I guess the defensive kind of breakdowns, how's it to get a, a big guy like Stephen Johns on the back end? Yeah, he, uh, he had a good weekend, I thought, for not practicing and just going in and playing two games in two days. Um, you know, he, he's physical. He, you can see he wants to hit and... and, and, and uh, bring a physical aspect to the game for sure he's big I mean he's probably the biggest guy on the ice both teams on the weekend so he's got that in his back pocket as well and just get acclimated with the speed and, and doing things as quick as possible with the puck what'd you do today you know it looks like you're lighting things up a little bit today. well we didn't get back till seven o'clock last night so you know uh at this time of year you know we play tomorrow so we just guys stretched and loosened up a little bit and have a morning skate tomorrow and, and be ready for the game